happy September, baby. Listen, we've made it. Yes, another chapter has closed. Another one has opened. Ashe, this is like my favorite time. I of spring, of course, but this is like my favorite time because this is the start of ancestor season, baby. This is the time of harvesting, uh, reaping what you've sown. Ashe, what you threw out is coming back to thee abundantly. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. How was August for y'all? August for me was very enlightening. I started taking more naps, Ashe, which was helping my dreams when I wasn't just conking out or forcing myself to go to bed, staying up too late. I actually got a lot of rest in August, so I feel like I'm starting to charge up. I too feel like my wheels are starting to turn. That nebulous energy is starting to dissipate. Ashe is starting to go out into the eat this baby. Yes. Um, we talked last session in regards to like singing. Uh, they also said dance, and this energy has been coming through a lot, especially the last couple of days, like over the weekend. Um, it's really been talking about like dancing. So I was taking a deeper look into that, and baby, let me tell you, so much is like jam packed into September. Ashe, Ashe, the celestials, the terrestrial, the as above, the so below. Listen, it is a celebratory time. They are putting on their finest of fine. They are gearing up. They're about to come out, Ashe. Around September the 9th, Mercury will be totally in its energy. It is currently in Leo right now, charging up recharging I shed getting ready to distribute what has been coming through when I told when I tell you to take a look into uh, days of the past especially during that um, 88 Lions Gate portal 888 Lions Gate portal take a look into that see what was going on like July 21 on I say Mercury is saying I know baby things was kind of wonky kind of crazy things were all over the place is not over yet we're still in that shadowy period of um Mercury retrograde, even though it's back direct, and direct just means that it is speeding up. It is going back to its normal pace. You know, Mercury is gearing up to say, warp speed, number one, engage, Ashe. It is really about to start to commune, Ashe. Ashe, so the ancestors are popping out, the deities are popping out, the Lawal, the Orishas, the spirit animals, the gods. Listen, um... Oh, I just heard older the man. You know, for those that rock, the vine is coming through. Aye, bobo. I say also make sure your space is clean. Make sure your altar is clean. Make sure you are ready to serve what they like to have, what they need to have, whatever it is they're asking for. Baby, listen, be on point with it. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Take stock. Make sure you have all the essentials that you need. Ashe, Ashe, this is a time where you do not take this to your altar. You do not want to skimp on the offerings to your spiritual tribe i say mm -mm, not now i say because things are coming through and regardless i'm gonna just keep it on a high vibration regardless of what you've done or what you've been going through something good is coming through for you i say even if it's a, a mocker to say hey turn things around you don't have to do this you don't have to be this person the good things will come through. You want good things or you want things, whether it's material, spiritual, whatever it is, they want it for you as well. Ashe, Ashe. So tap into the energy, work with your spiritual tribe, work with the uh, cosmos. Speaking of, there's a lot of energy going on. So let me just tell y'all where the planets are right now. Ashe, Ashe. So the sun is in Virgo, the moon is in Leo, Venus is in Libra. Mars is in Gemini. Jupiter is also in Gemini. Saturn is in Pisces. Uranus is with Taurus. Neptune is with Pisces. Pluto is with Aquarius. Chiron uh, is with Aries. And Mercury, like I said, is in Leo. Now, of those, we have four planets that are in signs in retrograde. Ashe. We have uh, Saturn with Pisces is in retrograde, Uranus with Taurus, Neptune with Pisces, and Pluto with Aquarius. They're all in retrograde, so we're in a retrograde season as well. We're in harvest season, retrograde season, Ashe, ancestral season, celestial season, terrestrial season, Ashe. There are a lot of seasons going on. Make sure you got your season as your herbs, oil, spices, whatever it is. Make sure you have it. Candles, Ashe, Ashe. 
this is also a time where we are given that opportunity to really uh, hone in on making our plans. Now that Mercury is back direct, baby, we can start to really nail down some things and start making sure that we have or we obtaining whatever it is needed to continue to give us the energy to get up, get out and get something. Ashe, Ashe, this is a working time. With Mercury being in Leo and charging up, it is also uh, giving us the opportunity to use our fire, to be the magician, to be the alchemist. Ashe, anything that we want, and I know this is this is not a drill, and this is not cliche. This is legit. When you're dealing with the cosmos, when you're dealing with the universe, this energy is present right now. Take it to your altar. You can rock a knot, tightrope, Janelle Monet. The choice is yours, ultimately. But it is given that energy of whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you feel as though that you should do. This is that energy that's coming through. Start making plans. Start seeing it legitly. Start seeing it clearly. Start seeing it, period, Ashe, and then taking it to the next level. If you are um, a Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, um, Leo, and of course Virgo, as well as Libra. Libra is bringing a lot of energy. There is a lot of um, other uh, planets, energies that are in Libra right now, Ashe. So, you know, Libra is all about love, is all about comfort, stability, Ashe, flirting energy, romantic energies, partnerships, unions, clear communications, Ashe, Ashe, Taurus, those energies as well because they both rock with Venus and Venus is in, Li um, in Libra. Venus is in Libra right now, so it's home, Ashe, and it's all the, the energies, it's like having a party. Venus is having a party right now. Libra energy is having a party right now. So those energies uh, will be feeling or experiencing very intense energies. If you're any of those signs that I just named, they're very intense energies that are coming through for you. I've also received the message in regards to the energies because regardless of your sign, we're all going to be experiencing this. Um, I don't want to say that it's chaotic. You know, it's less chaotic, but chaotic chaotic is still around Ashe um, mainly because the new moon will be clashing energies uh, with Saturn so while you're getting the energy to, to get up get out and get something there's gonna be something that they may feel like it's holding you back there may be something they feel like it's trying to hold you back and Saturn is that energy that is coming through Saturn is like stop wait just do what I tell you to do do it when I tell you to do it it is very um strict in its um gifts in its giving Ashe so there's going to be some form of a clash i.e. bobo Ashe yo so you want to make sure that you're staying grounded while looking up keep your head to the sky keep your feet on solid ground stay 10 toes down pay attention to what's going on um within the universe ashe so that way you know how to move and navigate accordingly i.e bobo ashe yo so this energy is coming through about getting to know your birth chart if you're really serious about aligning yourself with the universe and going with the ebbs and flows the highs and lows the ups and downs the in and out you really want to know where the planets are where what um zodiacs you have within your chart and how to move and rock accordingly. Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, celebrate, be joyous, be happy, be kind to yourself, sing, dance, be love, be peace, be dope, be brave, be bold, don't take no sugar, honey, iced tea, and stay out the way when necessary. Have fun, Ashe. And just remember right now what you once wants you, Ashe. So make a wish for those that rock. Rock with cinnamon, working with cinnamon, um, which is fire energy, it will help to get your hopes, wants, dreams, needs, thoughts, prayer, wishes um, out there, Ashe. And whatever Mercury is bringing to and through, uh, now that it is getting back to its normal speed, Ashe, that cinnamon will help to make it so. Because whatever is blocking, that cinnamon energy is coming through with like the assist, with like the alley-oop. And it's like, no, nah, this belongs to them. Let me go ahead and make sure they get it.